uh, I don't know if I was ready. Anyway, so um, yeah, we had a vlog plan for last week. We filmed it, ended up thinking it was too boring, so didn't upload it. But um, you know, we're hungry, we need to eat. We're gonna do another cooking vlog. Uh, or a recipe, whatever you want to call it. Quarantine cooking. <laughs> so we're going to do um, like a zucchini with um, sausage and rigatoni recipe here. So let me just go over all the ingredients. Hopefully you guys like this. Let me know. The way I know is if you leave a comment telling me that this is something you guys want to see. Or you just hit the thumbs up button. This is literally all we've been doing, by the way. We've... Just cooking and eating <laughs> you've been eating so much freaking food it's food, all so. healthy and homemade so that's good definitely all right so like you saw sausage we got the mild italian sausage we're gonna go with the rigatoni pasta you can go with like any pasta you want we got this fat zucchini pecorino cheese we got scallions here um normally i would use onion but we got like a whole bag of scallions and so we're gonna do it with that I got leftover thyme. I'm just going to stick it in there because it's good anyway. Some garlic cloves, hot pepper. It's a chili. We're going to use garlic powder. I never really do, but I kind of want to. Black pepper, sea salt. Use this stuff. It's good for you. It's healthy. I got this new umami stuff from Trader Joe's. It just gives it a good flavor. It doesn't really fit with this recipe, but we're going to see and see if it tastes good or not. And better than bouillon, uh, reduced sodium. That's it. That's it. I got the pasta water boiling. And I got sea salt already in there. So what I want to do first is um, get the zucchini going. So we already ate some of the zucchini. Um, but I'm going to save some for another recipe because this thing is fat and really big. So I'm going to go with that much. And I'm just going to, let me see. I guess we'll cut it in half down the middle. And then again, so kind of like a quarter. So we'll just cut them like that. I think those are good pieces. Maybe the bigger ones we'll just kind of cut in half again. So they're sort of like bite-sized, not bad. So I got olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. We're just gonna coat that with a little bit of olive oil there, uh, maybe a little more. And we're just gonna add some spices. So we got black pepper, just add the black pepper in as much as you want. I mean, just use your eye, there's nothing precise here. Um, salt, Celtic sea salt, like I said, that's what I like. So Celtic sea salt, maybe a little bit more. All right, cool. And um, like I said, garlic powder, not necessary. I'm gonna try it though. So we're gonna put a little bit of that, not too much. And this umami from Trader Joe's, not necessary, but I'm gonna try it. Getting experimental here. So let me just read off what it has here just in case you guys are interested. So uh, kosher salt, dried onions, ground mustard seed, porcini mushroom powder, white button mushroom powder, crushed red pepper, black pepper, and dried thyme. Yeah, so we'll just mix that up a little bit and we're gonna let this sit while I do some other stuff. So this will be uh, kind of like in the background marinating. Good shot there. Mm -hmm. So I'm realizing, you know, doing these side angle shots kind of suck. I just dropped the zucchini. So um, yeah, the side angle shots I'm realizing kind of sucks. I think, you know, if this video gets at least two views, I think people would probably <laughs> enjoy these videos. So I think it'll make more sense to get like a nice, like, what do you call it? An island. island. Get these slippers. Did you get these slippers in the shot? <laughs> It'd be cool because like I could kind of like do stuff like that, right? <laughs> you could use onion if you have onion. I got scallions. We're not trying to go shopping, you know what I mean? I'm trying to self-quarantine here just in case. So this is going to act as my onion. So I'm just going to kind of separate the whites from the greens. I've heard that a million times now. <laughs> Where have you heard that from? <laughs> well, we started getting HelloFresh. Which has been pretty cool during these times, right? Mm -hmm. Instead of going out shopping. Uh, yeah, we've been getting deliveries from HelloFresh and we can cook. I mean, this stuff isn't HelloFresh stuff. We have taken a chance going out because we're hungry. We got to eat, right? Um, very so, limited, very limited time. Yeah. So now the garlic kind of just take off the ends. That's the bad parts, right? You don't really want to eat the ends. It's kind of like a you're eating a butt, you know what I mean? You don't want to eat that. All right, so we're going to cut this the same... Uh, kind of like small thin slices like this. You got a good angle there. Not really. Told you the uh, island would be better, right? Mm-hmm. We'll see. Still see your slippers in the shot. And a bunch of wires. Got the Dyson capturing the virus. <laughs> okay, got the pan on. Uh, about medium, something like that. Little olive oil, not too much. We don't need too much because the sausage has its own kind of fat. That's too much. 
but that's fine. So I'm gonna lower the heat a little bit. And what we wanna do is like, you know, these are in the casing. So we're just gonna take like little pieces of the sausage and just break it apart. You could kind of like buy this already sort of like that, but we got the sausage in the casing. I'm gonna lower it even more. Uh. All right, so we got the sausage. <laughs> We're just gonna let it cook a little bit on medium, like I said. Um, and if you want to break it up a little bit more just to get smaller pieces, that's fine. Whatever you gotta do. We're gonna let this cook a little bit, brown it up a little bit, get some of that fat released, and this should taste really good. I have to grab this stuff. We don't have any room for anything. Um, sausage is pretty much right where I like it. So garlic and the scallions, my uh, onions basically. The white. Yeah, we'll mix this up a little bit. Get some of that garlicky flavor. So this is like a white sauce version. I wanted to do red sauce, like, a, you know, actually you would add tomatoes. I think we can get some good flavor out of this and we can save the tomatoes for another recipe. So yeah. I got the time too, I'm gonna use it in a little bit. This is all looking good. I'm gonna add the zucchini in with all those spices in there. So we're still on medium heat. You don't want it too high. It's kind of like a slow cooking process, you know? Mix it all up. Got some like bigger size ones in here, but it's all good. All right, so that's looking good. I think I'm gonna go with the time right now. So um, you just kind of Rip it off the stem here. What is it? A sprig? What do you call it? A sprig? I think so, yeah. So you take the sprig and you take the leaves, just add it in. Against the grain? Or I mean, what do you do? However, the way you shave, do it the same way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, yeah, against I think is easier. And we just got a nice plant, thyme plant. It's grown pretty good. And a pepper plant just grew out of nowhere. Didn't even plant it. All right, cool. That's looking good. How's it smelling? It smells amazing. <laughs> so you can see it kind of got fatter, <laughs> fattier from the sausage releasing that fat in there. So we got a nice uh, sauce base, if you want to call it that. In a second, we're going to add the pasta and then um, we're going to let that cook. So this is almost done, actually. I'm going to mm. let this cook a little bit so I can taste the, uh, the zucchini to see how that is. Sausage is basically done. Okay, like I said, we're going with rigatoni. Use any pasta you want. We like rigatoni, so what do you think, half the box? How hungry are you? Yeah, half the box is good. Unless we can have leftovers and then it's lunch and dinner. That's true, yeah. All right, that's perfect. So what I want to do next is add some of this better than bouillon. You can use chicken stock or chicken cubes or whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is perfectly fine. So I'll add that just a little bit, like on the tip of the uh, teaspoon. And that's just going to melt in there when I do the next step. So we want it to be a little saucy, right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to take some of this pasta water. Like I said, this is already salted. We're going to do um, half a ladle for start. Mix it and just mix it up. This should thicken up a little bit. Uh, this is the chili pepper, so I'm gonna add this. This is actually pretty spicy. Chili peppers, you can use any one, fresh, dried, whatever. Pasta's done. Strain it up. Like double the size now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, cool. Thankfully, because I'm starving. <laughs> Woo! This pan is small. <laughs> How are you gonna mix that? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> um, but here's what we're gonna do, though. So I'm gonna double cheese this thing up. So I'm gonna put cheese now. Like I said, we got pecorino. So I'm gonna put this cheese here. It'll kind of clump all the juices together mm. and make it nice and cheesy. Get in my belly. Maybe I could do the little flick of the wrist over here. I don't know. It might go all over the place. No, please don't waste it. We got these lights. We thought they would help. Did they? Did that do anything? Nothing. Dump it into this one, and then 
It should mix good. Yeah, good there idea. we go. And I could use the ladle. It'll be easier to pick up the pasta. All right, first bowl ready to go. Look at this. We got Asian bowls, baby. <laughs> that was Damn. the bowls we got for a uh, hot pot. <laughs> yeah. And then from here, we're going woo, over here. We're going to top it off with a little scallion. Just a little more. And uh, cheese. Yes. My bowl. Good stuff. Really good. Random ingredients, but really good. <laughs> yeah. Mmm, I'm so hungry. We like just Woo! went to the store and just bought a whole bunch of random stuff like, yeah, we can do something with this, we can do something with this. And then today we're just like, let's make this. <laughs> the pepper. Oh yeah. It's, it's it a is, little spicy. It is spicy, right? Yeah, that pepper sucks. <laughs> Woo! Mm. What do you think about salt level? Good? I think it's perfect. Yeah? Mm hmm. It tastes good. Sausage is real good. Amazing. I don't know why, like, zucchini has been like my top favorite vegetable <laughs> lately. Last night we made some like random recipe too, just like mix some beef and broccoli. Made some noodles. Oh yeah, you did that. I didn't even. That wasn't even in here. <laughs> You're like, let me whip something up. Fun stuff. Delicious food. Hopefully, you guys try it. Really simple. Not hard at all. Tastes really delicious. Um, let me know if we should do more. I mean, we're cooking every day, obviously. I know we're on quarantine, so you gotta not eat. Much else to do. <laughs> not much else to do. Eat and work out. <laughs> all right, guys. We'll see you in possibly the next one. That's up to you. Let me know. See ya. Bye.